we present Digit, a novel design for a low-cost, compact, high-resolution tactile sensor with application to in-hand manipulation. Touch is a crucial sensor modality for humans, as it provides a natural and direct way to measure forces. One of the factors that limit current robotic manipulation systems is the difficulty of precisely sensing contact forces. Sensing and reasoning about contact forces are crucial to accurately control interaction with the environment. Although numerous prototypes of tactile sensors exist in the literature, a bottleneck for the wide adoption of touch sensing in robotic manipulation is the lack of available sensors that are at the same time high resolution, highly sensitive, reliable, easy to use, compact and inexpensive. To fill this gap, we present Digit. Digit is the first mass-producible, low-cost, high-resolution, compact tactile sensor. Digit belongs to the family of vision-based tactile sensors and consists of an elastomer, RGB LEDs and a camera, where the formation of the elastomer are recorded by the camera as changes in color cues. This principle allows to generate rich, high-resolution images of touch easily, without any moving part, with a sub-millimeter resolution and high sensitivity. Here we show examples of measurements taken from digits for different objects. Digit was designed to achieve three major goals, a compact form factor, reliability and ease of manufacturing. As such, we develop Digit using high-quality sensors with custom controllers and firmware. This enabled rapid prototyping and provides a path forward to scale up through mass manufacturing. Digit provides an easy-to-use platform with increased durability and serviceability compared to previous design. Additionally, the platform allows for lightning control of the RGB LEDs and enable frames rates up to 60 frames per second. To contribute to open research, Digit was designed to be built and iterated upon with common 3D printers and tools available to many makerspaces. The overall cost of components to build a Digit is approximately $15. Digit is designed to be modular. As such, the plastic housing can be swapped to allow for different focal length and the elastomer can be easily replaced through a single screw. For example, it is possible to swap in task-specific elastomer into the same digit unit, with hardness and opaqueness tuned to the required sensitivity and expected forces in the task. Here, we show examples with a purely reflective elastomers to accurately measure surface and texture, a reflective elastomer with markers to compute optical flow, and transparent elastomer with markers to control finger position during grasping. We also developed a new gel manufacture process that increases the lifetime and reliability of the elastomer while making it amenable to large-scale production, all without compromising tactile sensing performance. We tested our new manufacturing process using an industry standard linear abrasion device. For each elastomer, we performed a cycle of five linear swipes across its surface. The results clearly show that our elastomer is nearly unaffected under abrasion, while elastomers using other manufacturing processes suffer significant damage. To validate the design of Digit in a robot control settings, we mounted our sensors on the fingertips of an Allegro four-finger robotic hand. We demonstrate Digit by learning to manipulate glass marbles between two fingertips, using solidly touch information. This requires learning to compensate for the slipping and rolling dynamics of the marble over the small curved and deformable Digit surface, under various degrees of pressure from both fingers an extremely challenging task. To solve this task, we first learn a deep video predictive dynamics model from tactile sensor images collected during self-supervised data collection. Our dynamics model is based on the structural VRNN architecture. 
We first train an autoencoder on the tactile images in a self-supervised manner. The autoencoder consists of a keypoint encoder and a decoder. The keypoint encoder encodes images as a keypoint tuples containing a 2D location and its sensitive value. At the coding time for each keypoint prediction, we draw a Gaussian blob on an empty feature map. This autoencoder is trained with L2 image reconstruction loss. Next, we learn a forward dynamics model in this low dimensional keypoint space. Our model predicts the keypoint representation of the next state given the previous state and action taken. We subsequently use our dynamics model to perform model predictive control. At each time step, the CEM optimizer is used to find the best, best sequence of actions that moves the marble from the current position to a specified target position, and the first action of the sequence is applied to the robot. By learning a dynamics model in the keypoint space, our model is more computationally efficient than methods which reconstruct images at intermediate steps. Here, we can see sequences of trajectory predictions produced by our video predictive model. The circular imprint shown in each image is the deformation caused by the marble on the gel surface. The first and third rows are ground truth images. The second and fourth rows are images predicted and reconstructed by struct PRNN. The first two columns are context frames shown to the model and the following eight columns are predictions. We see that our video predictive model is able to produce accurate predictions of future tactile readings as the robot moves the marble in its fingers. In the marble manipulation control task, we compared our approach using a learned nonlinear dynamics model to using a simple linear proportional controller in keypoint space. We can see that by using MPC with the learned dynamics model, the robot is able to manipulate the marble to be closer to the desired position within several steps. Instead, the hand-tuned P controller diverged on average. Due to the challenging and delicate nature of this task, the hand tends to drop marbles over time during a trajectory. Using our approach, we are able to minimize the percentage of marbles dropped even over longer trajectories compared to when using the P-controller. As an example, here we show tactile observations during two trajectories generated by rolling out MPC on the real robot. In each image, the goal position for the marble on each finger is marked by the red dot, and the current keypoint position is represented by the green dot. In the last frame, we overlay the complete trajectory on top of the image. We can see that the MPC controller is able to accurately move the marble to the goal contact state. In this work, we presented Digit, a new compact high resolution tactile sensor. Digit provides significant improvement across several metrics reliability, component availability, soap assembly, and manufacturing cost. We demonstrated the capability of its new sensor by tackling an in-hand marble manipulation task. Building on advantages in deep model predictive control, we learned to manipulate glass marbles from raw tactile inputs toward desired target positions. We believe that Digit is a step forward in the design of versatile tactile sensors that can be mass produced and widely adopted in the robotic community toward reaching human level manipulation skills. For this purpose, we open source the design of the sensor and the Python interface at the website digit.ml.